Recently, I had an argument with a certain gentleman of my knowledge, whom wishes to remain anonymous. Um, we'll just refer to him as a Ross F. No, wait, that's a bit too obvious. Uh, we'll just refer to him as a R. Ferris. Yes, that'll do it. <clears throat> anyway, the nature of this argument revolved on a older video of mine in which I used to count the top five most befuddling moments in the game Sakura Wars 5, with this particular peak being my number one. They changed the monologue! Now, I personally thought this was the worst thing that anyone could ever do. My fellow associate, however, did not agree. So, after a very polite and civilized debate that went more or less like this... <laughs> I somehow ended up uh, accepting his challenge to review something of his choosing, uh, just so that I could prove to him that there is nothing out there as dumb as my pick. So, he gave me to review an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! And not just any episode from any Yu-Gi-Oh! series, mind you. He want me to review the first episode of that one Yu-Gi-Oh! show where people play children's card games on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles. Crow, did you hear that? Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card game on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! But before that, here's a message from our sponsor. In your family! 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 We open to a seemingly violent, ugly, dystopian, post-apocalyptic future where card nerds took over the world and replaced every major sportive event with magic the smothering, which again is somehow being played on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycles. <laughs> Card games on motorcycles! 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 Card games on motorbikes! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles? Card games on motorcycles! The reigning champion is this guy named Jack Atlas, which is the only name I will be bothered to remember. We then meet the main Airdo guy, I mean main character, and his gang of stoner buddies, make-believe girlfriend slash groupie, and the customary I want to be just like you kid character who gets constantly into trouble because he needs to prove himself to his hero. Of course, not even a minute after introducing this character, he immediately gets caught by the local law enforcement slash dirty cops that apparently belong just fine in a show about grown-up campy she-males saving the world with collectible monster cards while being oh so serious about it. Main hairdo guy predictably takes the fall for whatever mischief the little rascal was guilty of and gets chased down by the mean-looking policeman.
Of course, this being a Yu-Gi-Oh! show, and considering nobody has played card games for almost 10 minutes in this episode, it's time to duel! So, instead of doing the jobs he's paid for and unrest him, the policeman battles main hairdo guy to a children's card game. On motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles! The resulting carnage lasted for at least five hours, and unfortunately there were no survivors. Oh, this just in. Card games on motorcycles! So they battle, they summon the usual hollow monsters or whatever, including a baby chocobo and, I kid you not, the montage dragon. And then, our hero wins. That's it. To quote Mr. Ferris, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 This is a geyser of stupidity! The setting for this show might actually have been interesting, since it's supposed to depict a very Akira-inspired sort of negative cyberpunk future society where everything and everyone is ruled by evil corporations and the lowest class citizens are left to rot in their slums and ghettos, forcing them to retaliate against the government's laws in order to survive, or at least that's what it looks like from this first episode. Unfortunately, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! show, and as such, it has to have these two elements completely shoehorned in it. Over-the-top hairstyles and car duels. If any of these things are separated from the series, we wouldn't have Yu-Gi-Oh! We would probably have a much better show. The motorcycle battles aren't just abominably stupid in their own right, they're also a tired gimmick made in a desperate attempt to make the concept of two guys playing a clone of Magic the Gathering look cooler than ever. Personally, this bores me like nothing else I've seen. I can't even bring myself to enjoy this overdramatic portrayal of silliness for the glorious irony of it. This episode feels like a waste of a potentially involving premise dumbed down by the idiocy of this show being just what it is. Something that's entertaining only when people spoof on it. What kind of person would have fun with such a boring game anyway? <laughs> I am Ushio, a security guard from the future. I challenge you to a duel, Ushio, security guard from the future. So I'll start off by playing my handcuffs dragon. See, because I'm a security guard, that means I play monsters revolved around security. I will attack you with Speed Warrior. This apparently does something. My pick is still the worst! Should I say Ross Fairies? Dun dun dun! Because now it's my turn to have my fun. <laughs> and I'll give you something horrible to watch in return. So, uh, what, do, what do I know about you? Uh, you're a Sonic fan, so. Ross Fairies! I challenge you to review the first episode of... You know what? I'll let the music speak for me. Sonic Underground! 